Vanderbilt turnover. Miller, Cousins down low, in and around over there. Tied in. What a big time move. I mean, you four in a row. These kids didn't lose four in a row. Kentucky on a six-game winning streak. Vanderbilt's won three in a row. Ogilvy has it knocked out of bounds. Turkey, but right now, a foot injury has him home where he can get some home cooking and some home rehab. Cousins, just too strong. Brad, there are NBA players that can make that move down in the low box. Watch his footwork. Watch right there. Spin into the baseline. No one rotates over. He's agile. He is absolutely mobile, and he is not fragile. <laughs> and he can be a little... He's asking for it, but Patterson's doing a great job. Now they do get it to him on the baseline. Blocked by Cousins. He's having a tough time getting his shot off. I think it's the third one that's been blocked on him. There's Ogilvy trying to take it to the goal. Cousins says, no, no, no. He had 27 in that game against Mississippi. A lot was, of them from the free throw line. He was 10 for 10 in the line. 70 free throws, 58 fouls. Cousins, so strong. Not only is he strong, he's so soft in the air. Great. On their offensive set, and they find themselves down three. Bledsoe, the wrapper and a cousin. Shot selection, so important. So quickly, such an explosive team. Kevin Stallings going to call a timeout, I think. Maybe not. Well, Kellogg used to talk about spurtability, and that's what they are. Yeah. Great spank. Good shot right there. Wall with a rebound. And the pass ahead to Bledsoe. Nice no look to Cousins. Great look to Cousins inside. You know the one area that has become a psychologist? <laughs> Here's Cousins, over over there. Tell you what, I hope you smile to your coach's face when you get the ball in that deep.